Hey, Greg Silva for Black Belt Excellence, second week of November. Again, we're talking about gratitude. Uh, the story at the end of the class, the actual mat chat, has to do with, uh, it's, it's a Zen story. This guy is just in a lot of trouble. He fell off a cliff. He's hanging by just a branch and tigers are coming around. They're ready to eat him. And all of a sudden he notices this strawberry on a plant and he takes time to eat the strawberry. And the kind of the moral of that story is, a lot of stuff goes around every single day. We're stressed, you're about to get eaten by tigers. And because of all this stress and things going around, we forget to appreciate the nice things around us. So we're gonna to talk to kids today just about gratitude and say so one of the things about martial arts is you've been practicing gratitude since day one. Since day one when you came to the martial arts school, in fact, the first thing I think you ever learned was how to bow. And the bow is not bowing down to someone. The bow is showing respect for someone. Um, it's just a tradition passed on from the Orient where the martial arts uh, originated. Uh, United States, we do more of a handshake. At least we used to do a uh, handshake pre-COVID. Uh, maybe people start bowing more now. But the bow is a way of saying, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I respect you, sir. I respect you, ma'am. So when we bow, I don't want you to just go through the motions, but I want you to kind of think about why we do it. Because it's really important that when you're grateful or you appreciate something, that you show that appreciation, you show that gratitude, you express that gratitude. So if someone gives you something, you may go, wow, this is really nice of them. Be sure to say thank you. Remember the magic words we talked about last week? Always say please or we say thank you. Uh, so we always want to express that gratitude. If we don't express the gratitude, it's like, hey, I have a present for someone and I want to give this to them, but you never give it to them. So saying thank you is like giving a present to someone. Um, all of a sudden, it's going to make their day when you show appreciation. So make sure you express that appreciation. Again, we do it all the time here at the martial arts school. When you come in, you bow at the mat, you bow to your instructor, uh, you bow to your partner. You're just expressing gratitude and expressing respect for that person. So as you bow and you go, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, no, sir, no, ma'am, make sure that you think, hey, this is really cool because I'm practicing my gratitude. I'm practicing my respect all the time. So that's going to happen at the beginning of the class. Try to bow a lot during class. So if you get a partner, hey, bow to your partner. Okay, everyone turn. Thank your parents for bringing you here. Bow to your parents. Okay, turn towards me. Bow to me. Hey, turn to the girl at the front counter because she's always so nice when you come in here. She says hi to everyone. Bow to her. So practice allowing a lot of bowing and constantly talking about respect and gratitude. Then at the end of the class, have all the kids sit down and even uh, kids that are watching virtually at home, if you're still doing Zoom classes, make sure they sit down in front of their computer. Take out your PDF file if you need it. Talk about the story about the man falling off the cliff and how he still has time to be grateful for the beautiful things around him. That's week two. Enjoy it.